Hey YouTube, um, thanks for joining me on this rainy, rainy day, but anyways, I found this, uh, this new car we just got in, um, a 2012 Ford Focus Titanium Hatchback in Sonic Blue. This is, um, probably the Focus I would probably buy for myself if it came with a stick, which apparently it's coming for 2013, I think. Um, anyways, this one pretty much has the 401A, the Titanium Premium Package. Um, which is what I would add. It's missing a sunroof. It's missing the uh, different wheels because I don't like those wheels. They are going to be really difficult to clean. But I like this car a lot. Um, it's pretty much like I like the blue. I like the way it drives. It needs a chrome exhaust tip on the back though. Um, and also give me those different wheels. But I like the way this car looks. Um, anyways, there's a lot of videos on this car so I'm not going to get too in debt with it. I just wanted to show you guys how good looking it is when you get it as a hatchback in this Sonic Blue. I almost thought this was Kona Blue, but it's actually Sonic Blue. Um, but it's still a really nice color. It compares really nicely to my fit. I mean, it's a good looking car. Um, this one has the dual clutch transmission because titaniums only come with that right now. And I really like the rims that come on the handling package, but the handling package only comes with summer tires. And that's not very a good idea here. But anyways, um... This one, it's not that expensive, $24,790. Um, it's because it doesn't really have any other options on it other than just the premium package. Um, so it is different than uh, Eric's, which doesn't have the premium package. So this one, just, uh, as you can see, this one comes with leather seats. This one already has 436 miles on it because it's a DX. We got it from another dealership. And it does have the push button start, which I didn't even take the key out of the box. Um, but let's see, push the start. Nice, nice, nice. And this, of course, has the luster or the um, the old My Four Touch, which um, you've you all have pretty much heard Eric bitch about. Um, and I can see why he does it, just because it is really laggy and it's pretty distracting when you're trying to drive. Um, but the sound system is really nice. I can't argue with that. The steering wheel. I'm thinking that the bolster here might be too fat, at least for my taste. But it. I drove um, a base Focus S with a stick. Um, and I like the way the, the, hand, the titanium handles. It definitely handles better than the um, regular model. And you can see, if you watch my other video of my Focus, this one has a rev limiter at 3400 RPM, 3500. While well, the manual did not. Of course, it's raining today. Um, anyways, the sound system is really excellent. This is the 12-speaker Sony sound system. In the titanium, it gives you the soft-touch door panels here on the top. Only the titanium and SEL has that. Um, one thing I don't understand is why is this cloth right here? You have to get the interior style package to make this leather. I don't understand why this is cloth. It's padded, though um, this is all soft-touch here. Really nice materials. Fit and finish is great. It just doesn't feel like old Ford in here. This is new Ford, which I like the way the interior is done up. Um, center console doesn't adjust, but it's pretty, pretty low, pretty decent size. Seats are really comfortable. Less headroom in my fit. The one thing I love about these cars is that the LED lighting in here, which is really bright, which is kind of blurring the screen out. I mean, lights over there. I mean, there's certainly a certain. Um, there's definitely um, an appeal that this car has that my fit doesn't have. My fit's a little more simpler. I mean, I love that the dual zone automatic climate control. I don't like that until I test drive the test the new My Four Touch. I don't like that, but everything else in here I like a lot. Um, it's a really nice car. The windows here are fully automatic for the driver and the passenger, and the back windows are also fully automatic as well. Everything is one touch in here. Steering wheel is nicely smooth, nice and smooth. Nice and Bluetooth, XM satellite radio. Um, I also like those lights in there. I love that because you can change the color, which I'm not exactly sure where the button is. But um, automatic headlights, fog lights, no HIDs though. I don't really care for the power door lock switch over there. But... One thing about the Focus though is what my Fit definitely has it beaten is interior space. Um, the back seat's pretty cramped, but ooh, I like this. The titanium premium package gives you that. It gives you that, um, it gives you that armrest, which you can't really see because it's dark, but that's, that's pretty nice. Oh, and I love the LEDs. This thing has LED lights. 
Um, cargo hold, the Sony, that Sony subwoofer takes up space in there and it looks like it wasn't designed in very well, which is kind of a negative, but it's not too big of a deal. Cargo space, my fit definitely blows it away. But I mean, it's not bad by any means. Oops. It's definitely not bad by any means. Um, But man, this is a really nice car. This really does blow away the new Civic in terms of the interior and the tech. But unfortunately, until the titanium gets a, a manual and they correct the My4 Touch, I refuse to buy this car. But it's still a great car. It's very smooth steering. Engine's really smooth. I love those gauges. They're really pretty. Really pretty looking gauges. Shifts are good. Now I know a lot of people, especially Eric, complains about the dual clutch about transmission about not being smooth. I'm not really noticing that, but I haven't really driven this car as much as he has to actually notice it, I guess. Like in normal like driving, the, the transmission feels fine. I do notice that it kind of annoys me because the car, the car rolls back like a stick shift, which it's, I guess it's supposed to do. Um, but he's like saying like, it can feel a little bit jerky. That's what I read also online. It doesn't really feel jerky to me. It's pretty smooth, and the engine is really smooth. It's quiet also, it's really refined for a four-cylinder. And then the handling, oh, the titanium handles really, really well. I love the handling on this car. It definitely reminds me of a, a more mature, like it's like a, it drives like a mature, like softer, not really softer, it's softer in a good way version of my Fit. So my Fit handles really well, but this car handles really well too. to a stop here. Oh yeah, this one doesn't have the winter package because it doesn't have heated seats. So yeah, this one's a pretty um, basic titanium aside from the premium package. The Oldsmobile is rolling back. I wonder if it's a stick. I like how when you have the headlights on it actually shows that in the in the in the information display. If I turn off the lights, they'll go off, see? That's really cool. It's a really nice um, detail. Like, there's a lot of nice details in this car that I like. I mean, I still like this car a lot. Like, don't get me wrong, I, I'd get one without the My4 Touch, though. I see it rolls back right there. Kind of weird. I mean, this car's not bad with the dual clutch transmission, and of course, you guys can hear it starting to rain now. This stinks. But anyways, I'm going to cut this video short. It's getting kind of long. Um, if you guys are in the market for this car, I definitely recommend the hatchback. I mean, I guess if you're not a hatchback person, the sedan's fine. It looks better than the Fiesta sedan. But um, this car's a great car, and Ford is offering pretty good incentives on it right now. But um, thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day.